Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can I ask you to please rise while His Excellency Dr. Thabo Mbeki, the former President of the Republic of South Africa, enters the hall. You may be seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As the artistic director of the UNISA International Music Competitions, it is my distinct pleasure and truly an honor to welcome all of you to the 15th edition of the UNISA International Piano Competition. Every two years, UNISA pulls out all of the stops when we host an international competition of this magnitude. Over the past 42 years, our competitions have been growing in stature, in prestige, in recognition nationally and internationally, to the point that it's recognized amongst one of the fine, finest piano competitions in the world. We are extremely proud of our accomplishment even though we continuously strive to do better with each edition of the competition. This competition began <coughs> for my, uh, my staff and I about a year and a half ago, with putting into place all of the preparations for hosting an event of this magnitude by getting the information out internationally to inform candidates from across the world that they may be eligible to participate in this competition. We receive, on average, for an international comp competition, several hundred applications. We have a screening panel that goes through all of those applications to reduce them down to the top 30. That 30 includes the four national winners, first place and second place winners, of the previous year who gain automatic entrance into our competition. This year, between our international jury and candidates, we have over 30 countries represented. Between last night and tonight, with the two final rounds for the first time in our history, we have six countries represented, including South Africa. Truly an amazing feat, considering that the UNISA International Music Competition is the only competition on the African continent that belongs to the World Federation of International Music Competitions. For over 20 years, we've been held in good standing at the World Federation to the extent that we are recognized as one of the leaders for having parallel jazz and classical categories in our international music competitions. There will be plenty of time this evening for uh, recognition of candidates and uh, a, a formal welcome address by our principal and vice chancellor, Prof. Puleng Lenkabula and an address by His Excellency Dr. Thabo Mbeki, who is the president of the Inter UNISA International Music Competition. Over the past two weeks, we've had a large number of candidates go through three very, very rigorous rounds. It is by no means an easy feat to get to this stage of the competition. All you'd have to do is ask any of the three candidates who are going to perform tonight. The jury, which is comprised of 10 world-class performers, teachers, and highly experienced jury members come from eight different countries. We're very, very fortunate to have our esteemed panel, and I will introduce them later in the evening. After many rounds of rigorous comp competing, three candidates rose to the top for the jury. On the jazz side last night, we had Thomas Johnson, Dabin Ru, and Zibu Sisu Makatini perform for the final round of the Jazz Night. Tonight, we have three candidates. We will start off with William Bracken, 
who comes to us from the United Kingdom. He will be followed by Leo de Maria. And the third and final candidate will be Elizaveta Ukrainskaya, who comes to us from Russia. The formalities for this evening. We will have two candidates perform. We will have a very short break of about 15 minutes. I ask that you please, if you need a restroom break, uh, use the facilities and get back to the hall as soon as possible as the event is streamed live. We have a very large international audience across the world who are watching this event tonight. We'd like to start within 15 minutes of the break. This evening, our, our finalists will be accompanied by one of the country's premier orchestras. Uh, the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra has a wonderful relationship with UNISA. They've performed many times on the stage. They've accompanied many of our international competitions. And we're sincerely, sincerely grateful and thankful to have the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra in attendance this evening. We also have a wonderful conductor who comes to us from Iceland, Maestro Gudni Emilsson is a world-renowned conductor who is also a pianist, has done this many, many times, so we feel comfortable that between this orchestra and the conductor, our candidates will be in safe hands. Ladies and gentlemen, at the conclusion of the second candidate after Leo de Maria performs, I ask that you please remain seated until His Excellency Dr. Thabo Mbeki and our Principal and Vice-Chancellor Prof. Bulen Nenkabula exit the room, and then you may get up and relieve yourself. Uh, we will, following the interval, we will have a, um, a final candidate and the awards function that will take place. I ask that you please enjoy the evening. Please join me in welcoming our first candidate, William Bracken, uh, with Maestro Goodney Emerson. Enjoy the evening. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, we will take a 15-minute break. I ask you to please remain seated while His Excellency Dr. Tabo Mbeki and the Principal and Vice-Chancellor and Senior Members of UNISA exit the hall. They will be followed by our jury members. Thank you. You may exit the hall. Thank you.
Please rise while His Excellency Dr. Thabo Mbeki enters the hall. Thank you. You may be seated. The order of proceedings for the second half of this evening is that we will have the, the third and final candidate, Elizaveta Ukrainskaya, who will perform. At the end of her performance, my team will project a video up at the top of the screens, that's about 10 minutes long. We created a video of pictures of the highs, the lows, the good and the bad of the last two weeks, so that you can get a sense of what the candidates went through over the past two weeks. During that time, please ignore the rest of my team that will be on stage removing the equipment, the piano and the orchestra uh, stands, etc., and uh, while we set up for the award ceremony. I've been told that the video is 10 minutes and that my team will clear out the stage in less than 10. Time will tell. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Elizaveta Ukraine Skaya and Maestro Gudni Emilson with the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra. Thank you.
one one two. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I did not time my staff, so I'm not sure if they did this in 10 minutes. But the last few minutes of voting felt like that last 10 minutes of the Springboks versus the New Zealand rugby team in the final. It just never seemed to end. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct ple pleasure and truly an honor to welcome all of you to the award ceremony of the 15th UNISA International Piano Competition. I would first like to call upon our honored guests and request that they please join us on stage in the following order. His Excellency Dr. Thabo Mbeki, former President of the Republic of South Africa, Chancellor of UNISA and President of the UNISA International music competition. Professor Puleng Lenkabula, the Principal and Vice-Chancellor of the University of South Africa. <laughs> Dr. D. Mosia the chairperson-elect of the Council of the University of South Africa. <clears throat> Professor Moloko Sepota, the acting registrar of UNISA. Our esteemed jury members from across the globe, Ludmil Angelov from Bulgaria. <clears throat> Hughes Leclerc from France. Albert Mamriev from Germany. <clears throat> Nina Schumann, South Africa. <clears throat> Shen Wang, China. Our jazz jury, Cyrus Chestnut, USA. <clears throat> Kevin Harris, USA. Makiko Hirabayashi unfortunately cannot join us tonight as she is back on tour from tomorrow. But uh, we, she did her duties yesterday and she did vote. She would have joined us. But I'm hoping that she is catching the streaming online. John Paul McGee, USA. Hans Fromans, Netherlands. <clears throat> Our conductor, Gudni Emilson from Iceland. <clears throat> 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 
I would now like to call upon our finalists and special prize winners in the jazz category. Thomas Johnson, USA. Dabin Ru, South Korea. Zibusisu Makatini, South Africa. Our three classical finalists, William Bracken, United Kingdom. Leo de Maria, Spain. Elizaveta Ukrainskaya, Russia. I would also like to call, call up the following two individuals Anthony Perlman, USA. And Dennis Linick, Belarus. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I would like to call upon our principal and vice chancellor, <coughs> excuse me, of University of South Africa, Prof Professor Puleng Lenkabula, to officially welcome you. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. I thought after the beautiful, beautiful music that we would have embraced and drawn from, that I would hear your, your beautiful voices. So thank you very much. Let me take this opportunity to recognize the president of the UNISA International Piano Competition, our chancellor, the former president, of South Africa, His Excellency, Dr. Mbuelwa Tabo Mbeki. Can I please request a round of applause? <laughs> Thank you. I don't know of the participants, but I know that uh, there are not many events such as this where esteemed statesmen or stateswomen become presidents and support through and through the value of music and its interface with university. And therefore, I'm truly thankful to the presence of our chancellor in the, this evening. Your excellencies, ambassadors, commissioners of various countries in South Africa, the chair of council, Dr. Musia, and members of council, members of the executive, management of the University of South Africa, members of the jury screening panel and our competition participants. I think they require a round of applause. Thank you. Members of the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra, host parents who are looking after the competition participants representatives from various media houses present, the students of the University of South Africa, 
the primary stakeholder, members of the University of South Africa, the academy, professional, administrative staff, distinguished members of the audience, ladies and gentlemen. I am truly privileged and honored to invite you, the participants and lovers of the artistry of piano performance, to this beautiful moment of embracing and enjoying the 15th UNISA International Piano Competition. It is with immense pleasure and pride that we gather here this evening to celebrate the culmination of talent, dedication, and the universal language of music. Hosting an event of this magnitude is not just a privilege, it's an honor. It is a testament to the power of music to bring together the diverse cultures to transcend the borders and to ensure that the varied grammars and languages of music become those areas that enrich our minds as they enrich our hearts. The UNISA International Piano Competition embraces both jazz and classical genres, has been a beacon of harmonious collaboration which showcases the extraordinary talent that exists on the global stage as it does here at home and at UNISA. As we stand on the threshold of recognizing the winners, we are not just witnesses to the music, musical excellence, but also to the triumph of human spirit over the challenges. Every participant in this competition has faced a unique set of obstacles, whether technical, emotional, or artistic. The very nature of competitive performance demands not only technical brilliance, but also an ability to navigate the vast landscape of musical expression with finesse. The journey of a pianist in a competition is very similar to performing a musical work, where each note is a step forward in the unfolding narrative of the note's artistic expression. The challenges encountered along the way should not be viewed as hurdles, but rather as stepping stones that push and encourage the boundaries of what is possible and what can propel these talented individuals to reaching even more heights. Perseverance in music fuels the pursuit of excellence and UNISA is about propelling excellence and shaping futures for humanity, as we do for the continent, we want to do for the world. Also, it forms the common thread that weaves through the fabric of every pianist story. Late night practice sessions, moments of self-doubt, and the relentless pursuit of perfection, the theorization that is also entailed, including this technical aspect that I've already referred to. These make the journey worthwhile. But for us as the university, even more important to asking the questions, what are the research aspects that we would have drawn from this competition? How do we look into the lessons, opportunities to ensure that this remarkable competition enables and improves our abilities to rise above adversities to distinguish excellence and to ensure that artists in our country, in our continent, and in the world are recognized for the beauty and talents that they offer to us. INISA is honored to be the stage for this spectacular event and its culmination with this award ceremony. The resonance of these pianos and the brilliance of these musicians we linger in our halls and become part of our institutional histories and histories. We extend our deepest gratitude to the participants, the esteemed jury, and all our deepest gratitude to all of you who have contributed to the success of this competition. Can I request that we should give you, the audience, a round of applause? A 
At some point, I heard sighs, hissing, breathing heavily, wondering, and I saw heads shaking. I saw some looking down, mesmerized by the pianist, whether in the jazz competition yesterday or today in the classical competition. That means we are also participants in this beautiful mosaic of the competition, and therefore, we extend our gratitude to you. So let us revel in the magic of this moment, a moment when the world converges in the name of music, a Tunisia, transcending borders and fostering a global appreciation for the piano captivating melody. As we recognize the winners this evening, may the notes played here echo our hearts long after the curtains would have fallen and remind us of the beauty that can be achieved through the universal language of music. I will leave the congratulatory message to our president. However, I'd like as we celebrate the winners today to wish Bafana Bafana all the best as they compete in CAF. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prof. Lenkabula. Indeed, very, very well said. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the presentation of the special prizes. <clears throat> I'm going to call upon His Excellency Dr. Tabo Mbeki, Professor Lenkabula, Dr. Musia, and Professor Sapota to present the prizes in the special special prize category. <clears throat> I've been doing this for over a decade and there's always confusion when the candidates come up. Dr. Mbeki is laughing because he agrees with me. So candidates, when you're called up, step all the way over to this side, accept your prizes from Dr. Mbeki, Prof. Lenkabula, uh, and then all the jury would like to congratulate you. Oh, before you do, take a picture, and then have all of the jury uh, congratulate you, and then you may be seated. The following prizes were voted by either the jury in the classical or the jazz categories. The best performance of a Baroque work in the first round classical category, sponsored by the Desmond Wilson Memorial Trust, Trust goes to Elizaveta Ukrainskaya. Again, winners, get your two prizes, take a picture, and allow all of the people standing up to congratulate you. They'd like to do that. <laughs> the best performance, that's okay. The best performance of a jazz ballad in the first round of the jazz category, sponsored by the Desmond Wilson Memorial Trust, taking on 15,000 Rand, Thomas Johnson. The first round required candidates to perform a required South African works either by Alexander Johnson in the classical category or Concord and Kabinde. The best performance of a South African composition by Alexander Johnson in the first round, winning a prize of 15,000 Rand, sponsored by the Desmond Wilson Memorial Trust, Dennis Linick.
The best performance of a South African composition in the jazz category by Concord and Kabinde to a value of 15,000 rand, sponsored by the Desmond Wilson Memorial Trust, Dabin, Dabin Ru. In 1982, during our very first competition, we had a South African candidate in the competition. It was our very first competition. Mark Robenheimer took third place in the competition. He was the first South African ever to win a prize in one of our piano competitions. Sadly, Mark Robenheimer passed away in a plane crash one year later. Ever since that event, Damaris Lobsha has graciously sponsored a prize in memory of Mark Robenheimer for the best performance of a classical sonata in the second round. The winner of the Mark Robenheimer Memorial Prize for the best classical sonata to a value of 15,000 rand goes to Elizaveta Ukrainskaya. The best performance of a rhythm changes based composition in the second round of the jazz category to a value of 15,000 Rand, sponsored by the UNISA Music Foundation, Zibosisu Makatini. The most promising performance of the South African composition by Concord and Kabinde in the first round <clears throat> to a value of 15,000 rand sponsored by the Desmond Wilson Memorial Trust, Dabin Bru. We generally award prizes to the first three category, the first three candidates, first, second, and third prizes. However, we also recognize the most promising semi-finalists who did not go through to the final round, which technically could be considered a fourth place, but in our in, in, in the way we describe it, it is the most promising semi-finalists. The most promising semi-finalists who did not go through to the final round in the classical category, winning a prize of money of 25,000 Rand. Sponsored by the James Ferve Memorial Trust, Dennis Linick. The most promising semi-finalist who did not go through to the final round in the jazz category 
winning a prize money of 25,000 Rand, Anthony Perlman. Ladies and gentlemen, that moment has arrived, the main prizes. Before I announce the winners of the main prizes, I must remind you. The jury are required to vote for, uh, to vote for candidates based on their performances in all four rounds. So you cannot assess the performance of a candidate tonight and assume that that candidate automatically wins. It's a cumulative score. So the scores from round one, two, and three count in addition to their performance tonight. In the jazz category, the third prize winner, Zibusisu Makatini. Zibo Sisu wins prize money of 110,000 Rand. The second prize winner in the jazz category, winning a whopping 150,000 Rand, Thomas Johnson. And the first prize winner of the jazz category of the 15th edition of the UNISA International Piano Competition, marking history for the first time in our competition that a female has won the jazz category, Dubin Rue. Moving on to the classical category. The third prize winner of the 15th edition of the UNISA International Piano Competition 2024, winning prize money of 110,000 Rand, William Bracken.
The second prize winner of the 15th UNESCO International Piano Competition, winning prize money of 150,000 rand from Russia, Elizaveta Ukrainskaya. And the winner of our 15th UNISA International Piano Competition 2024, following in the footsteps of legendary pianists like Mark Andre Hamlin, Lucas Vondracek, etc., winning 240,000 rand, Leo de Maria from Spain. Our guests may be seated. We do have some breaking news in the house, which will be of special interest to our two winners. Firstly, is Bongani Tembe in the hall? I believe Bongani is not here. Bongani Tembe, the CEO of the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra and the KwaZulu Natal. Philharmonic Orchestra has offered both of the winners concerts with the KZNPO and the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra in the next season. So both of you get to perform concerts with the two orchestras in the next season. Yeah. So Leo de Maria and Dubin Bru. Dabin is looking a little <laughs> uncertain. It's true, Dabin. I was also surprised when Bogani told me I'll accept both the classical and jazz candidates to perform with the two orchestras. So the good news is you'll be coming back to South Africa to perform a tour. And naturally, UNISA will support both of you on our concerts as well. So congratulations and sincerest thanks to Bongani Tembe. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I would like to call upon His Excellency, Dr. Thabo Mbeki, to present the congratulatory address. Thanks a lot, Dr. Uh, Professor Debro. Uh, Deputy Chairperson of UNISA Council, uh, Dr. Musia. Principal and Vice Chancellor, Professor Lengabula, and our Artistic Director, Dr. Professor Karendra Devro, the esteemed members of the two juries, our eminent competitors and candidates, the distinguished uh, conductor of the Johannesburg Philharmonic, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm told that the famous Chinese pianist Lang Lang once said that the competitive spirit, the competitive spirit is vital in music. It pushes us to reach new heights, inspires innovation, and ultimately fosters a community of excellence where each note becomes a testament 
to our shared pursuit of musical brilliance, unquote. And I believe that these wise, wise words are very opposite as we consider what has happened here at this 15th UNISA International Piano Competition. I'm therefore honored to stand here this evening to, con to congratulate first all of our competitors, all and each of whom have demonstrated truly marvelous and high talent as pianists and musicians. I would therefore like to say to the competitors that you have demonstrated your admirable dedication to your craft, pushing the boundaries of your artistry to new heights. None of us underestimates the challenges you have faced as classical and jazz pianists. The technical demands of classical compositions and the improvisational complexities of jazz require a unique set sets of rare competences, and you have conquered these challenges with remarkable skill. In overcoming these challenges, you have not only confirmed your individual talents, you've also contributed to the richness of the tapestry of musical diversity that defines this competition. This has served as a testament to the universality of music that transcends genres and borders bringing together different traditions and styles in a harmonious celebration of human creativity. Some decades ago, one of our po po poets laureate, South African, uh, S.E.K. Mkai, wrote in one of our indigenous languages, Kunam Tlanje Ilizweli Azuza, Kunam Tlanje Lom Tlaba, we are loony. And this translates as these times the nation is in a menacing restlessness. These times the very earth convulses because of pain. And those poetic words talk to our world today, such that sometimes one doubts whether sufficient recognition of our human common humanity still exists making it possible to convince such tributes to human genius as demonstrated by this international piano competition. I would therefore like to take this opportunity to extend warm congratulations to everybody for the camaraderie that has flourished among the participants from various corners of the world. The bonds forged during rehearsals, shared musical insights, and collaborate performances have transcend, transcended language and other barriers, affirming our shared humanity. Tonight, we extend our heartfelt congratulations to the winners of the 15th UNISA International Competition, Piano Competition. Your achievements are not just personal triumphs. They are contributions to the legacy of this prestigious event since you have now joined the ranks of illustrious laureates such as Mark Andre Hamelin, Andrei Pisarev, Addison Frey, Lex Cotton, and many others who have graced the stage over the past four decades, serving as you do as a source of inspiration for aspiring musicians throughout the world. And to you, the winners, we say we know that your journey does not end here. It extends beyond these competition walls to international stages where you will continue to shine and share your extraordinary talent with audiences around the world. And UNISA is very proud to have played a part in furthering your musical journey and privileged that it had the opportunity to experience your capacity to inspire human cohesion through your beautiful creativity. I'd also like to stand the same words to the other eminent competitors whose participation at this international competition has contributed immens immensely to its high quality, its authenticity, and its prestige. I count myself as fortunate that I've had some time to watch quite a few of the performances on YouTube. And this includes some of these last night during the final round of the jazz competition. 
I say this that regrettably it is in the nature of competitions that not everybody can emerge as a winner. I say this to assure all of those of our competitors who have not won that this does not subtract even an iota from the incontestable reality that in all of them we have true piano ma maestros and genuine musicians. I must also extend my heartfelt thanks to our jurors. I can only guess that perhaps the anguish you have had to bear as you have to make choices in the context of a true panoply of outstanding talent, which speaks to the wealth of all humanity has in our young piano maestros. And so dear jurors, please accept our sincere thanks for having accepted to participate at this 15th UNISA International Piano Competition, as well as our appreciation for your use of your wealth of expertise and experience, honestly to identify our winners. Our sincere thanks also go to the other musicians who have accompanied our competitors during some of their performances. Here I also include the excellent big band which opened our pro uh, proceedings on our day one. And of course, tonight's Johannesburg Philharmonic. I'm also very happy to congratulate and thank our artistic director of our music competitions, Professor Karen Devrop, for the excellent work he has done before and during this important competition. And I'm certain that the registrar and the vice chancellor, Professor Devrop, will agree with you, will agree that you deserve even a little break to recover your breath. Yeah. And once more, congratulations to the winners and deep appreciation to all of the competitors. May your journeys ahead be filled with continued success, artistic fulfillment, and the everlasting joy of sharing your musical gifts with all humanity. Thank you very much. Your attention. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Mbeki. Ladies and gentlemen, this event would not be possible without an entire team of individuals who helped put it together. I'm going to ask for your indulgence for a few minutes to execute a very, very important task, which is acknowledging all of those individuals who made this event possible. I ask that you please hold your applause until the end. First and foremost, Dr. Thabo Mbeki, the Chancellor of the University of South Africa and President of our, Uni of our UNISA International Music Competitions for your never-ending support. Your presence here is truly remarkable and we really appreciate it. Professor Puleng Lenkabula, our Principal and Vice-Chancellor, I said it at the start, I said every time, is one of our staunchest supporters of music at UNISA. She's at all of our events. Sincerely grateful to you, Prof. Lenkabula, for your support and for your guidance. On a more personal note, I report to Professor Supporter. He is a pillar of strength every time we are in crisis. He always has a solution. He is always quick to act. He is always quick to support my staff and myself. So, Prof. Supporter, Many, many thanks to you. Dr. Mbeki has eloquently thanked the jury members. Um, I would also like to add my personal thanks to Ludmil Angelov, Yus Leclerc, Albert Mambriev, Nina Schumann, Shin Wang, Cyrus Chestnut, Kevin Harris, Makiko Hirabayashi, John Paul McGee, and Hans Fromans. You have executed your duties excellently. I'm sincerely grateful for all of you accepting this invite, for leaving your families for over two and a half weeks, and for being here at these events. Sincerest thanks to all of you. To the two composers, Alexander Johnson and Concord and Kapinde, many thanks for your wonderful compositions. Our conductor, Goodney Emerson, when I approached him, um, I had to shift a few things around, but indicated I will be there. He's a world-class Conductor, and we are sincerely grateful to you.
couldn't he? The Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra, and especially Bongani Tembe and uh, Polina Berikova and Matthew Downey for your support and assistance with the orchestra. It was no easy task putting the final round together. Our rhythm section are about the most reliant musicians you will find on the continent. Excellent artists and truly dedicated to delivering a world-class performance for us. Kevin Gibson on drums and Sean Johannes. We have an outstanding team at UNISA's Multimedia Center led by Veli Subui and his team who are here tonight. Lufuno Mususameli, Matthews Mchali, Becky Nkwenyana, Clement Letsualo, Bongomusa Mdau, Mduduzi Katamzi, Mduduzi Ntuli, and Shuema Champion. Many, many thanks. Ella Fulyun went above and beyond the call of duty even though she retired in December. She insisted on assisting us till the very end. Many thanks to you, Ella, for all of your hard work and your late nights. Nomsa and Lela had a tremendous task on hand managing all of our VIPs, receptions, ticketing. Um, to Nomsa and her entire team at Directed Institutional, under, uh, Institutional Advancements under the guidance and leadership of Ms. Kanye Mashlare, sincerest thanks to all of you. Our host parents, there are not enough of words in my vocabulary, vocabulary to thank you. For those of you who are unfamiliar, some of our host parents have been with us for more than 30 years. They are continuously there to support us, continuously there to support our candidates. They go above and beyond. I see it because on our WhatsApp group, they are taking our candidates out on tours, really showing them the best of what South Africa has to offer. So to our host parents, sincerest thanks to all of you. To all candidates and teachers, many thanks to all of you for pushing in that application, for coming out to South Africa, and for all those who applied and did not make it into, uh, to get out to South Africa, and to your teachers for preparing you. Estates, Courtney Jacobs and his team do an incredible job. I call them on very short notice to take care of emergencies, and Courtney and his team always step up and assist us. Many thanks, Courtney. Every event at UNISA is handled by Ifa Tamanik and his team. For the simple reason, they are professional, they are on track, they are on task, and they deliver excellent work for us. So Ifit and your entire team, many, many thanks, especially to your students who have come out to support us. The UNISA Big Band did an outstanding job at the opening, at the opening ceremony. Salome Skitter, who manages all of our finances, is always there to support us and part of the organizing committee. Sincere thanks, Salome. Damaris Lopsha came all the way out from the other end of the country. She has supported us since 1983. Many thanks to you, Damaris, for your sponsorship. For Rosa Katz and everyone at MNET, many thanks for, recording, for broadcasting this competition, which will go through in broadcast in a few weeks. Francois Nolte and his entire team at Green Planet Studios, sincere thanks for assisting. I've got an incredible, incredible team of student helpers that you see around in the red t-shirts. Wuli Chauke, Charles Semane, Clamulo Rametsi, Tumelo Malazzi, Paul Pius, Titus. These students come from our community engagement project. They are part of who we are at the Music Foundation. Many thanks to all of them. Our screening panel, Catherine Foxcroft, Luis Michalis, Peter Krobler, Roland Moses, Mageshin and Naidu. We had an excellent piano technician who trained another excellent piano technician. John Cavanaugh is the head of piano studies, piano technology at Oberlin Conservatory. About six to seven years ago, he took Tsepiso Ledwaba under his wings, trained him to be one of the finest Sinoid technicians in the world, not just in our country. Tsepiso has followed in John Cavanaugh's footsteps. He maintains our entire fleets of pianos. He's done an excellent job managing our, our pianos for this competition. Two of us travel, we gave them a lot of headaches. It was very difficult getting all of the candidates flights, accommodation, uh, jury flights booked. A sincerest thanks to everyone at Two of us and to our host, the Capital Mendel and Main Hotel. Finally, and most importantly, this competition and everything that we do at the Unisian Music Foundation will not be possible without my amazing team of people. Behind me is Komotso Boshielo, Prince Ramallah, 
Linda Patrick, Sapiso Ledwabe, Philly Maonia, and Rose Dubavo. We have an amazing team who work every evening to past midnight. Tonight, when you are safely at home and you reminisce about this piano competition, my team will still be working, getting home at about 2 o'clock in the morning. Such is the dedication from my amazing team at the Unison Music Foundation. I'm grateful to you not just for this competition, for every event that we host, for ev every bit of work that's done on our community engagement pro uh, project. Sincerest thanks to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard them play. I'm sure you want to hear them speak. Dabin Ru, Leo Di Maria, please come up. <laughs> you don't have to get worried. You've already won the first prize. Hello, everyone. Hi. Uh, thank you so much for this amazing um, whole opportunity actually it was just amazing to stay in this beautiful country for 18 days and thanks to my mommy Anzi thank you <laughs> yeah um, I had so much fun um, this four round of um, competition was definitely stressful but you know what, what you were gonna do you just gotta do what you gotta do so you know, oh, it was a really amazing study for me, you know, amazing, you know, um, opportunity to like really work on, okay, what do I do for like 45 minutes of nothing, you know, just those kind of things. So it was really good study for me. Um, thank you so much for having me. And wow, yeah, beautiful night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um. Well, first of all, I'm extremely happy and very honored to have this amazing prize. This is a legendary competition uh, for so many years, and somehow it was always a dream for me to come for South Africa and at least participate it, uh, in this competition. Now I won it, and I, s I can't even believe it yet, but I am so happy. <laughs> To, to don't make it too long, I just want to say thank you for everything, for uh, all the organization. Uh, they make feel like at home here, and especially to my host family, to Natasha, to Josh, to Nadia. They cook for me, they take care of for me, for everything. They bring me everywhere, so thank you very much to all of you uh, for your extremely um, big support during these days. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. And one more time, our two winners, Leo de Maria, Dabin Bru. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that brings to a close our award ceremony. I ask that everyone please remain off the stage for the moment while we get our photographer to take some photographs with the jury and the, win uh, the three finalists and the winners. The jury, finalists, the winners could remain on stage with our esteemed VIP guests. Thank you so much, folks.